well, some guys is taller boy you were service on. It's it's October the second. We're out here uh, in North Dakota on some public property that I've funded for a few years now. Um, let it rest for about a week and a half. We haven't been in here. I actually jumped two deer coming in. Not sure uh, what they were. Uh, one for sure was a doe, but uh, the hunt cast looked did good today, so I expected them to be out and moving just about all day. So um, we had a cold front come through this week. Um, for the first time this year, it's going to be in the 30s. Um, it's sitting at about 40. Uh, 48 is going to be the high, and it should start cooling down here in a, shortly. We got a south wind about five miles an hour, so not a lot of not a lot of wind uh, in here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna sit down and get quiet, and uh, hopefully, want to show up in a bit and give us a give us a look. We got a couple good deer in here that we've been uh, getting on camera in the early season, so uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, want to give us a shot tonight. So uh, stay tuned. You guys are watching Service Hide. Film baby, North Dakota 2020. Public land, and I just smoked a giant. I just smoked a giant. Thank you, Lord above, for this opportunity you just gave me. Thank you. I just smoked a giant. Yes, yes, yes. yes! 2020, baby! 2020 public land! He came in. I heard him crash. He came in from where all the other deer have been coming in. 
Broadside shot 20 yards. <sighs> Stay tuned, we're gonna freaking find a giant. All right guys, it's Tyler Boyer, Surfside here in North Dakota. Uh, I don't think this deer went far, he was hit pretty good. So uh, I wanted to do a little bit of training with my dog, uh, get her used to blood trail. So we're gonna go here, see if we can find this deer. It, it's really good up here. Okay. He'll find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Now, damn. She smells it, don't she? Yeah. Come on. Get Wrong way. Alright. Alright. Yep, take her. She's gonna be static. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose blood and her freaking yep. I got you. Blood. Right. Blood. 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 I need some of them brighter lights up here. Yeah. That one brighter. Yeah. Blood. Okay, Poor little deer. <laughs> he ran. <sighs> this is my game flipped around. Oh man, he's heavy, isn't he? <sighs> That's the entrance right there. Look at what that mega meat did to him. Look at the brows on that deer. That's crazy. <laughs> Man. North Dakota Public Land 2020. Well, got it done today. All right guys, we got him back to the garage, got him uh, filled clean. Just kind of wanted to do a little recap of uh, how things went down because I was a little quick in the, uh, when we were out in the field, just trying to get out there. It was, it was dark and getting cold and we had uh had some people out there helping us so i didn't want to take too long but uh had a couple does come out um three does come out probably around five o'clock and i thought my hunt was over i ain't seen nothing after that uh for for a couple hours uh checked my camera i didn't have any pictures of any deer any bucks uh at all uh over the week for or last week and a half um so kind of wasn't expecting a whole lot and then uh, he, he rolled in there about probably 30 minutes to dark and uh, came in there and gave me about a 20 yard broadside shot so um, hit him hit him right behind the shoulder uh, using the uh, Black Eagle deep impact arrows with some uh, Max Hunter veins on them by A and E and uh tip with the uh g5 mega meat broadheads uh put a pretty pretty big uh entrance and uh got a complete pass through so um very happy with the performance of uh all the uh equipment so uh thank you to our sponsors and uh keep watching Serviceide.